All right, none actually fish. Start fishing. Let's see, from this pier, which uh, would be the best spot to drop the, a line? To the west uh, around the pier, to the south where the sun is hitting the water, to the east where the shade reaches. Um, hmm. I mean, fish don't really care about uh, sunlight, do they? I mean, let's see, south, east. Uh, let's try south. I probably just screwed up. Uh, lure, live bait, use a fly. Let's use live bait. I'm not an expert in fishing, so I'm probably getting all of this wrong. Oh, sweet, I got a bite. Now this is the critical part. How should I bring it up? Reel it in all at once. Uh, wait a bit before reeling in. Wait until it gets tired before reeling it in. All right, let's see what we got. Oh, did I do it? Holy boots. Curse you, holy boots. This victory is yours. Let's see. What should I do now? All right. Uh, let's not change. Uh, let's use, let's use, uh, a lure. Oh, got something. Bring it up, uh... Again, tired. Let it get tired. More boots. Alright. Uh, let's change spots. Cause... Alright, so the south didn't work. Shade reaches... How about west? Oh, I probably just picked really badly. Live bait. Oh, got something. Alright, uh... From what I've heard, this is, like, one of the better ways. Liberal carp. This, uh, well, this one is just my warm-up. Continue fishing. Uh, don't change. We got a carp, so, uh... Let's go for some more. Uh, live bait again. We want them to be enticed to get something. <gasps> ding, ding, ding. And... Bingo! Alright, continue. Uh, let's change. Oh, no, wait. Oh, shoot. Uh, use a lure. Let's see what a lure grabs us. I meant to change spots to try the shade. Oh, we got a salmon. I am a goddess of fishing. Uh, what a haul. This may, uh, just beat the record for the size of my best catch to date. I thought for certain that, uh, it was just a regular fish by the way you tugged on the line. Let's see. What should I do now? Um, I'll give it one more. Uh, we'll change. We'll go towards the shade. Right around here looks nice. Uh, live bait. Uh, 
You got two holy boots, uh, two carp, uh, salmon. And now I got another liberal, liberal carp. I think I'm done. We got some uh, decent fish. Man, it's already starting to get dark. I guess I ended up with a pretty good catch after all. Check this out, Joshua. Look what I caught. Huh? Joshua? What's this? Hundred Days War seems to have been left on the table. Estelle picked it up. I wonder if Joshua forgot this. For being so sharp, he sure can miss things sometimes. I guess I'll just have to take it to him myself. Then again, I wonder where he could have taken off to. Off to play his harmonica. Hey, hey there, laddie. What are you doing, uh, whittling away the evening in a place like this? <laughs> Not much. How about yourself? Are you done fishing or are you heading back into battle? No, I've already had my fill. It sure has been a while since I did, though. Oh, that reminds me. I still had... Uh, held out the book uh, she found on the table. You said you were going to read, but you ended up leaving your book on the table. You should be more careful with your stuff. Oh, that. I actually finished reading it. My eyes were starting to feel a bit tired, so I thought I'd take a walk for a change. Liar. What? You're hiding your feelings again, aren't you? I can tell that's what you're doing. And besides, that's not really fair. You always find a way to cheer me up when, I, when I'm feeling down. And while I may not be as reliable as Dad, I can still give you a shoulder to lean on. Sorry. It's times like these when you should say thank you and not apologize. You may be smart, Joshua, but sometimes you don't seem to know what's most important. <laughs> You're probably right. Thanks, Estelle. Very good. Now that wasn't too bad, was it? Oh, right. And in return, how about you uh, play me a song with on your harmonica? As you wish. Is the whereabouts of light good for you? Yep. Uh, that's the one I wanted to hear. I'm guessing he always plays that one. Oh wow, they can hear it. And also, that's the song that plays on the... on the title screen. I wonder why it is. Now, when I hear the sound of your harmonica in the evening light like this, it makes me want to cry. So you're still not going to ask about my past, I mean. You promised, remember? You were going to tell me when you felt like it, and I wasn't going to ask, right? And considering that five years have passed, it doesn't seem like such a big deal anymore. Yeah, it has been five years, hasn't it? How can you, uh, how can you just live uh, with me for that long and not have a million questions? That day, your father came home with this beat-up kid. Some random stranger who never says a word about his past. Why, uh, why'd you take him in like that? Well, it seemed like uh, the obvious thing to do. Besides, your family now, Joshua. And like I said before, I know you pretty well. You love books, you're a weapons geek, and you've got a serious knack for just about anything that comes your way. 
You're kind of a kind of bear, but you've also got a way of not letting others inside by using politeness at, like a shield. Now, wait a minute. And you're caring and lonely. Of course, I don't know everything about your past. If you want to, uh, if you want to make comparisons, I don't know a whole lot about Dad's past either. But it doesn't mean that he and I aren't family, right? Being a family for us has more to do with uh, knowing his personality, his habits, the foods, and the food he likes. You know, the kinds, the kinds of things that only I would know firsthand. And you're no different, Joshua. You make it nearly impossible to argue with you, you know that. It's been like that since the first time we met. And you gave me that flying kick to the gut as I was lying in bed, wounded, I might add. Um, did I really do that? Yeah, injured and all. More than once. I'm sure it was just a bit of childish play. Uh, blame Dad for my lack of social grace. Yeah, sure. Nice, nice excuse. But anyway, Estelle. What? Let's make sure we solve this whole airliner mystery. I don't know if Dad's been captured or anything. But let's resolve this with our own hands. Sure. That's exactly what I intend to do. How about we head back to the inn? I'm sure I'm sure supper is ready by now. Great idea. I'm starving. We need to eat our fill, so we're ready for tonight. All right. Oh. Oh, I almost forgot. Here's your book, Joshua. Oh, right. Actually done with it. At this point, it just end up being bulk. Wait, I wonder what I should do with it. Um, uh, about giving it to someone? It'd be uh kind of a waste just to chuck it. You're right. I'll do that. Oh no, it just seemed like the right choice to me. Hello. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Help a fellow out. I'm begging you. I can't take another drink. Wow. I think I just recognized my, uh, reconsider my opinion of you, Olivier. It's pretty rare for anyone, uh, to still be conscious after a night of wine with Shara. <laughs> well, didn't the two of you, uh, come at a good time? How about having a drink together? You're both good for that, right? We're going to eat dinner now, so the answer is no. Come now, you two. When I said let's drink, we drink. You're going to make me very angry if you don't sit down for a glass with me. Oh, great. She's already reached stage two, rage mode. Don't worry, Shara. Olivier said he's good for, an uh, uh, good for another couple rounds. How about having him keep you company? What? You can still drink more, can you? <laughs> Joshua, how could you just give uh, me to her like that? I can't. I can't. Don't you feel sorry for the poor guy? I don't know. Should I? You're like a little demon. And cute at the same time, too. At least the fish are polite here. Uh, I guess he'll be just fine. How about we sit in the counter? I'd hate to bother the two of them. Right, good idea. <laughs> Please, Shara, I'm pleading with you. You and the fish. Don't pour me another glass. Uh... <laughs> Oh man, are they going to be any use to us tonight? Because, uh, if I remember right, alcohol takes a bit to kind of... Yeah, no, he's out like a light. Ugh. Oh, he's totally plastered. It looks like even a guy who takes his sweet time for everything couldn't stand up to a drunken Shara. 
Oh wow, what a night of drinking. I've been so busy lately I haven't been able to enjoy myself like this for a while. And you're not even red in the face either from all that alcohol. Are you sure you haven't had some special kind of training, Shara? Um, it could have been all the bizarre liquors I've drank while I was uh, in the troop. You know, like the ones with uh, scorpions and asps in them. I might have built up uh, my resistance that way, but who knows. Somehow, I don't think that's the case. By the way, why do you uh, plan? What do you plan on doing with him? He's pretty much useless as he is. Let's just let him sleep. He looks so peaceful now, and we wouldn't want to disturb him. There's a very high possibility that we'll have a direct encounter with the Sky Bandits tonight. And getting a civilian wrapped up in the middle of it all wouldn't be a good idea. Don't tell me you... You got Oliver drunk so he wouldn't, um, be able to come along, didn't you? Well... Of course I did. And he'll thank me in the long run, too. After his raging hangover, anyway. And so that whole time... You were just toying with him, weren't you? Let's see, it's getting late. Let's hurry and begin our stakeout around the inn. Don't skirt around the issue, Shara. Quiet, you. For the time being, we're going to circle up to the far, far pier. Understood. Alright, then, let's go. Alright, uh, so, Olivier is <laughs> out of commission. Hopefully he learns his lesson, uh, from this. Nothing here. Um, I don't see anyone. I don't know what kind of business that uh, these those siblings could have here, but do you think they'll really show up? There's no guarantee, of course, but if Lloyd's information has any truth to it, my best guess is that they'll be here. However, if we move around too much, there's the possibility we'll be seen and they'll take off. Since the Sky Bandits are supposed to come from the road, it might be a good idea to watch the area. Right, so where should we watch from? We need a place where we can see the road without being noticed ourselves. A place uh, like that would be ideal. Where you can see the road without being seen yourself. Let's see, so here's the road. Um, um de dum de dum Find a tree? <laughs> if only it were that easy. Is it here? Hey, what's that? There they are. Well, it looks like we're a little early, huh? Yeah, it seems that way. You know, if this were the middle of the day, we could have gotten ourselves a bite to eat on the way. Quit talking nonsense. We're outlaws, remember? Now let's hurry up and get moving. Ah. Oh. Do we stop them now? Or are we going to follow them to their uh, little base of operation? I should have no uh, known it'd be them. It looks like they're headed for the far pier. I wonder what they intend to do. Shall we take a look and find out? Let's try to get as close as we can without being noticed. Nice and easy. I should have figured they wouldn't be here yet. They always come exactly on time. I really hate those guys. They act like they're so superior, and to be honest, they're kind of scary. No doubt about that. They are quite, uh, the clandest- Oh god, I've never seen that word. Clandestine bunch. But there's not much we can do about it. This is an order from Don. This seems to be a good place. Yeah, we can hear every word they're saying, too. Hey, Kyle, 
Don't you think Don's been acting a bit strange lately? It's not uh, like him, if you ask me. You know, the whole hijacking of airliners thing. While I admit it was lucrative, now we've got the army clamping down on us full scale. Not to mention those annoying bracers are now involved. And he's gonna... And he's gone and taken hostages and demanded a ransom in return. No matter how I think about it, it seems like Don has gone way overboard this time. In the end, you're all, you'll always be just a girl. Deep down, you're just not cut out to run with the bad crowd. Excuse me? Okay, maybe not the best wording, but I meant it as a compliment. If things are getting too tough for you, you're always welcome to try salvaging a life back home. It shouldn't be too hard to get by as long as you don't set your sights too high. Although, admittedly, it is a bit colder than liberal. D do you think you can just treat me like a kid and I'm not going to get angry? I'd like to see you uh, get by without me, what with your crap cooking and all, not to mention the laundry. Do you really want to go back to burnt toast and turning your underwear inside out? Okay, okay. See your point. I really am sick of toast, burnt or otherwise. But anyway, think about what I said before it gets too late and to back out. Now getting back to what you said earlier, I do have to agree that Don has been acting pretty weird. Does he expect us to just keep fishing for a ransom? We should take what we can get. And I like to believe that Don is smart enough to see that. Don't you think uh, he started acting strange about the time uh, that guy showed up? That's the only thing I can think of as to why he started acting like this. Yeah, he was the one who introduced us to those other guys too. He might have even gotten Don to buy in to this, his ideas. Who is that guy and he? That's certainly a good question. Huh? What's that over there? What's what? It looks like whoever is... Uh, whoever it was they were waiting for finally showed up. It's a boat! Um, hello. It looks like you made it. On time as usual, huh? You could have come a little early for a change, or even late. Definitely not my type, that's for sure. Um. Um. Boy or girl. Say what you will, but we're trained to be punctual. Now, if that displeases you, then you, uh, then let me offer my sincerest apology. Relax, I was just being sarcastic. Now I know you guys are definitely not the type I wanted to be around. Enough already. We don't have time for that. Now, how about we get down to business? Have there been any other developments since last time? Yes, in fact, Her Majesty has finally made a move. She intends to contribute to the ransom for her, from her own assets. Seriously? We're going to get paid out of the Queen's own pocket? I guess we're pretty close to getting the money then, right? How about the Royal Army? Is there any indication that they're, they figured out where our hideout is? Not yet, but it's only a matter of time until they do. We've uh, received reports that members of the Bracer Guild are on the move as well. At any rate, on the morning of the payoff, you'll need to leave your hideout behind. Yeah, no problem there. We just happened to run into temporary shelter by chance. Don shouldn't have any regrets about it either. <sighs> they are way, there are way too many suspicious types involved in this. What do you want to do, Shara? Should we just storm in? Shoot them? Shoot them all? Let IDEO sort them all? I've got a much better idea. A better idea? These two siblings up here... Uh, appearing here means that the Sky Bandit's airship is parked somewhere nearby. There's not much we can do if they get away again, so how about we try taking that out first? I see. Take away uh, their means of escape, right? 
I'm down for that. How about you, Joshua? Joshua? Oh, right. Take out the airship first, right? Yeah, I think that's a good idea, too. What's wrong? Your face looks really tense all of a sudden. It's nothing. Yeah, I'm sure it's just my mind playing tricks on me. We don't have much time. We've got to get out, out onto the road and start looking for the that airship before they start finish they finish their meeting. Alright. Let's go. The party took to the road in search of the location of the airship. And Oh wow. Bunch of guys. Oh by the tower too. So they're parked in front of the Amberl Tower, huh? This is definitely the perfect place to land since it's off the main road. Isn't the Amberl Tower supposed to be just like the Esmalis Tower? Yes, it's one of the ancient ruins uh, referred to as a... Te Tetrasilic Tower? So what do you want to do, Shara? Should we subdue them? Hmm, that's one way to go about things. But there's more than double their numbers since the last time we uh, encountered them. Don't worry. Even with twice as many guys, they're no match for us. So how about we take them all out at once? Hmm. I don't know if that's the best way to go about things. Olive here. Sorry to keep you all waiting. Uh, Olive! Keep it down or they're going to hear you. Well, isn't this a surprise? I can't believe you're standing here after the state you were in before. Your tolerance is impressive. <laughs> Who do you think you're talking to? Rather than miss a minute of your fair company, I uh, dutifully packed my guts up and dumped a bucket of cold water over my head. Voila, I was good to go. I don't know about that. I hear you. Uh, your liver screaming somewhere in there. That's some serious tenacity. Come on, I couldn't let you enjoy all the fun yourselves, right? I, ha I had just come out of the inn when I saw you guys hit the road, so I came running from behind to catch up with you. I guess I went a little too easy on you. Maybe I should have had you down on uh, all that brandy at once. You'd have put me to sleep for good if you'd done that, Shara. But anyway, fighting the Sky Bandits here would lack finesse, don't you think? I don't think that uh, that's the issue here. No, I'm serious. Even if you subdued them all and managed to arrest the two siblings, there's still a chance they won't tell you where their hideout is. And they might even use the hostages as leverage to demand their release. Well, there's a, uh, a risk involved with whatever course of action we take. One second. All right, I'm back. Or do you have a good plan on how we can avoid taking such a risk? Huh, boy, do I ever. Listen up, everyone. Okay. But if you blow in my ear, I'm seriously going to punch your lights out. Oh. Kyle. Josette. It's good... Uh, to see you made it back. I didn't think you'd be gone so long. So talks took longer than expected, huh? Yeah, but we're nearing an end with our negotiations. We also managed to get a great deal of information about what's going on with the Royal Army. So what you're saying is... Yep, we'll be getting the ransom money within a few days. We'll finally be on one step closer to making our dream a reality. We did it! Sweet! Cool it, cool it down, guys. It's a little too early to be getting excited yet. For the moment, we need to get back to the hideout and report to Don. All right, everyone. Pack up and let's get out of here. So they're flying out. Now I'm guessing we got on somehow. The temperature outside is 69.8 degrees with 15% humidity. There is a south-southwest wind blowing at a, a speed of 12 uh, arg. There are no orbital reactions in the surrounding area. It looks like the army isn't patrolling here. 
Activate the orbital engine and begin tr uh, transmitting orbital energy to each section of the airship. Aye, sir. Orbital energy activated. Transmission of orbital energy to sections underway. Orbital flo uh, floater started. Orbital driver started. Stabilizers all green. Alright. Lift off. Aye, aye, sir. So how did we manage to get on board? Oh, let me get... Nope. I don't see any movement down there. Set the drive rate to 40% and maintain cruising speed. However, make sure that we can switch to battle speed at any time. Aye, sir. It looks like we made it back before... Uh, we'll make it back before morning. Yeah. I'm ready for some serious shut-eye myself, but I've got to report to Don first. Huh? Did you just hear something? No, I didn't hear anything. That's odd. Could have sworn it came from below deck. Uh-oh. Maybe it's just a mouse or something. I'll have to clean up the place when I can find some free time. I see them. So we... we stowed away, huh? Oh wow, Neville Valley. What are we doing here? Their hideout was just right there, huh? Wow, so close. Oh boy, I'm tired. Ever since we came here, my night and day have been completely reversed. We've just uh, got to tough things out a little longer, then we can say goodbye to this horrible life. With Don as our leader, we can't go wrong. But don't you think Don's been acting a little strange lately? I mean, he's kind of scary to talk to these days. How about you knock that crap off? If Kyle or Josette heard you talking like that, they'd beat you upside the head. But it's just that I'm sure that you're just tired from lack of sleep. Let's hurry and finish up here and get some rest. You're welcome to uh, take a rest now if you like. Ah, you're those. You're too late. All right. So much for the sneak attack, huh? Art, uh, Aqua Bleed, Other Guy, uh, Crafts, Quick Draw, Fires Off Several Rounds in the Blink of an Eye. Alright, and then Howling Bullet, Fires Off an Explosive Energy Shot, huh? Sounds interesting. Let's go with Firebolt. And Prashara, Airstrike. Yeah, I'm glad I did two attacks per enemy. Heck, the two attacks might not even be enough. But we have a turn after uh, all this, so it's all good. Why well, have you just had to survive all that? There you go. Take a nap. Are we going to take some uniforms, or... Ooh, Fire Seppeth. It looks like we were able to get in here without any trouble. I'm amazed that this little plan actually worked. I guess we all have you to thank this time. Being seri- uh, but seriously, I was getting pretty nervous. I wasn't sure what we were going to do if, uh, we got caught stowing away. Well, even if we were discovered, we'd just have to take control of the airship. And we would have uh, we would have had an advantage fighting against this lot in those tight quarters. Superior numbers mean nothing without space to maneuver in. 
Well, Avir, so you uh, thought that far ahead, taking all of those factors into account, huh? Not in a million years. Are you kidding? I simply thought it would be fun to infiltrate an enemy base. I think we would have been better off if you said nothing at all. Give the poor guy a break. At least we were able to get in here without incident. Anyway, this looks like somewhere in Neville Valley. The Neville Valley? Like the one in the on the border of Bosse and Roland? Well, that explains why it's so misty outside. And this is definitely terrain covered with extreme differences in height which prevent the landing of any large aircraft. It looks like your guess was right, Shara. Yeah, well, it didn't seem to help us much in getting in here. But anyhow, we don't have time to be hanging around here. We'll need to subdue the Sky Bandits and ensure the safety of the hostages being held captive. And of course, your father, Cassius, too. Right. Understood. Should we disable this thing for the time being? I mean... Maybe that's just me. But it's like, I don't know about having this thing, like, ready at all times. But, if I remember seeing right, there's a healing station here. So now we're all healed up, ready to go, and we have a perfect uh, little healing spot. So we can grind if necessary, which shouldn't be the case. Alrighty, I guess now we take on, uh, take on the Sky Bandits. Uh, is this where we dump their, uh, their unconscious bodies? Is that here? Nothing? Alright. Alrighty, uh, in here. Just a blocky room. In here, another blocky room. Oh goody, they have monsters in here. A lot of monsters too. Holy cow. Alright, time for my signature hurricane skill. That was pretty good. There we go. Flicker! Alright, uh, now... Let's... Let's see... You guys are weaker to fire and water. Alright, so... Burn the birds. Okay, craft, quick draw. Oh, sweet. Oh, yeah. Oh, did he do status effects as well? Looks like one of them's poison. We really haven't seen much in the way of status effects. Alright, Joshua. Can I get multiples? Not really. Um, I'll get the birds. A bird, either. All right. Uh, aqua bleed. I do like this music a lot. Uh, burn you, and then Olivier. You can burn more. Done. And done. Oh, rat spring. And he's dead. Oh wow, that was a good amount of experience, and oh my god, that's a good amount of Sepeth. Tender poultry. 
All right, that was nothing in there. In here, supplies of some sort. All righty. More supplies, probably just a, a room for them. Chest. Found a scorpion. The chest is already empty, you double dipper. <laughs> alrighty, alrighty. Just nervous about what might lie in the next room. None in here. Okay, that's suspicious. Oh god, branching pathways. No! Chest. EP charge. This chest is empty. Makes you want to cry, doesn't it? Well, a lot of you don't say anything about it. Okay, that looks important. So away from it we go. More chests. Found a jeweled ring. This chest is empty. How tragic. All right, let's see what this jeweled ring is. Oh, jeweled ring. This has got to be the stolen ring, isn't it? Sweet. Has our uh, stolen ring. Hello. Hello, darkness, my old friend. None else in here, okay. None over here, okay. What about over here? The voices of some men can be heard. Sounds like uh, some of the grunts. Should we rush uh, the room? Not yet. Oh, hold on a sec. I can hear someone talking on the other side of the door. It sounds like some of the grunts. Let's take care of it before we move on, so there are no surprises behind us later. Okay, I was gonna explore, but alright, sure. <laughs> 